Two brand new features have been released in Pokemon Go, and you probably can't use them. Here's why. Back in September of 2022, the legendary Pokemon Cosmog was released exclusively in Special Research. It came back once more in June of 2023, and since then, players have had the ability to evolve into Cosmoem, then eventually into Solgaleo and Lunala. Nowadays, you can't get one. It's gone. And that's a problem, because with the release of Necrozma and the fusion feature at Pokemon Go Fest 2024, you can finally fuse your Solgaleo or Lunala with Necrozma to get Dawnwings and Duskmane Necrozma. And if you do that, you get access to two brand new features, which I have. Let's go use them. These are brand new adventure effects, which is really cool, and I really like these features. So if we look at my Necrozma, which has the catch card, it's shiny, it's lucky, it's level 50, it's perfect. As you can see, it's scrolling down past the separate button, which will never click. We've got Sun Seal Strike, Sun Steel Strike. The new adventure effect shines the light of a meteor for 10 minutes, attracts Pokemon found during the day, and allows daytime evolution at night. Which is really cool. It's an example of a Pokemon that evolves during the day. There's certain Pokemon that you can only evolve during the daytime. They are on screen right now. But if it's nighttime and you use your Sun Steel Strike, you can evolve it during the night. So that's cool. So let's use this feature and we're gonna walk around and see what we catch. For starters, let's just like look at the spawns, okay? This is what we're seeing right now what we're seeing on the nearby. I'm curious if this works like an incense or if it works and it just changes every spawn around you. So, sun still strike, 10 minutes. We're gonna use it. Oh, this looks crazy. Oh, this looks crazy. Oh my God. Okay, that's awesome. Daytime Pokemon attracted to your incense. Oh, uh oh, so it spawns. Okay, oh, look at this. Okay, so above the CP, as you can see, uh, it has this little icon of like the sun with some rings underneath it, which are like the spawn rings, I guess. Cool, so you know for a fact that this Pokemon that I clicked on, this young goose, is, uh, is a sun steel strike adventure effect spawn. Sick, okay, so I wonder if we're gonna get like more of these spawns the more we walk. Oh, wait, this is cool. Young goose evolves during the daytime with sunlight. Wow, look at this incense, this looks crazy. Okay, let's walk and see what we get. Found another young goose. Oh, this is new, different. Tyrant. Got a lot of these guys at GoFest. And another Tyrant. Young Goose. Pidgey? Fomantis. Pidgey. Oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> Shiny Eevee? What? This isn't off the thing. This was just in the wild. <laughs> cool. Well, we got a bunch of these at GoFest uh, with the crown, so it's kind of weird to see it without the crown. Also, very weird to just see a shiny Eevee in the wild like that. 515 CP, that's sick. Easy, we'll take it. And with eight seconds left on the Sun Steel Strike, we get another Tyrant spawn. Okay, so we saw three different kinds of Pokemon in 10 minutes. The question is, does anything good even spawn on this? So the official list of Pokemon that are spawning on Sun Steel Strike include Pidgey, Alolan Executor, Solrock, Cottony, Helioptile, Tyrant, Young Goose, Rockruff, and Fomantis. So not really the craziest list of Pokemon, but the big thing is the fact that Rockruff, when you catch it with Sun Steel Strike down, you should be able to evolve it into Dusk Form Lycanroc. So that's Sun Steel Strike. Now what about this one, Dawn Wings Necrozma. This is Dawn Wings, right? Another shiny lucky. 14, 14, 14 we got, which I haven't actually level 50. Odd, we'll do it right now. Level 50, easy. It's a lucky, it's cheaper. We have so many candies and XL candies from the trip. Level 50, nice. And this one has Moongeist Beam, which emits a sinister ray for 10 minutes and attracts Pokemon at uh, only found at night and allows nighttime evolution during the day. We'll do that in a second. First, I wanted to jump in and take this Kartana raid because right now is the inbound from Ultra Space event and it's actually kind of sick. For starters, like the Ultra Beasts are gonna be in the raids throughout the next couple of days. They're gonna be rotating in and out, uh, which is awesome. Also, the daily remote raid pass limit is going to 20 per day from Monday, July 8th to Thursday, July 11th. So big opportunity to take right here. And one of the first times they've expanded the remote raid limit since they nerfed it like a, over a year ago. So it's kind of a really big deal. And in my opinion, 20 raids in a day is exactly where it should be. Whatever, you know, whatever, kill the game. <laughs> Another part of this event that I'm really gonna be hunting for is the new Pokemon backgrounds debut. This is something they've never brought out uh, for a global event. Apparently they're gonna be like exclusive backgrounds on Pokemon caught from raids that are similar to the location backgrounds uh, that you've seen at the in-person events. So we're gonna get this Kartana. It's not gonna be shiny. This is gonna be so hard to catch. It's fine though, because Kartana, one of the best grass types in the game, worth catching. But I'm really curious to see what these new Pokemon background debuts are, because they're making it seem like it's like a never before seen thing ever. 
if I can catch this. So side mission and goal today is catch as many Ultra Beasts as we possibly can during the raid hour for Kartana so that we can maximize the candy gain, but also see what these new backgrounds look like. I assume they're gonna be kind of rare because the catch cards are pretty rare, so we'll have to see if we end up getting one, but I do wanna see if we can find it. Okay, caught Kartana. Will it have the exclusive collectible background? No, it does not appear so. Okay, probably oh, should max mega grass type. We'll do this Venusaur. Oh, look at this, by the way. Uh, this Necrozma is three CP higher than this one. This is the catch card background, by the way. So apparently that feature has come globally during this event, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, this guy, Moongeist Beam. Let's use this for 10 minutes and see what spawns we get. This looks crazy, dude. This looks crazy. <laughs> okay, what will we get? Oh, starting off with, check this out. Galarian Zigzagoon, and look below it, like the spawn ring circle. This is really cool. This is, I, I like this feature. This is sick. I mean, I guess you technically already saw this, but to use this, it is 3,000 dust and three candies for 10 minutes. So if we wanted to go for two hours, 36,000 dust and 36 Necrozma candy, which is really valuable candy. So this whole video will be showing, is it even worth using? I probably should walk. Otherwise it's not. Sick, we've got a Gligar spawn. Oh, and here's what that like kind of nighttime uh, thing looks like. Again, if you look over the CP, it's got like, okay, well, it's gone. <laughs> he moved out of the way. Then we got a Clefairy, Gligar, Gligar, Mana, Rat, Rat again, Clefairy. And that is all she wrote for Necrozma and Moongeist Beam. Same thing, in 10 minutes it was like, Three different Pokemon. What could have spawned includes Alolan Rattata, Clefairy, Alolan Marowak, Hoot Hoot, Galarian Zagoon, Lunatone, Mana, Amora, and Rockruff that could evolve into Dusk Form Lycanroc, if you're lucky, apparently. Rockruff can randomly evolve into Dusk Form Lycanroc, but you have to find one that is able to evolve to Dusk Form. I don't think there's a way to trick it, it's just random, it's, it's, it's RNG basically. So by using Sunsteel Strike or Moongeist Beam, you can possibly get a Rock Ruff that can evolve into Dusk Form Lycanroc, and that seems like kind of the only reason why you would use these new adventure effects, but you can't use them if you don't have a Solgaleo or Lunala, and there might be a way for you to get them coming up in the next couple of days. Let me explain. Okay, so here's the deal. While I take out another Cartana, because I really want to see what this background is, if we can get it. I'm gonna keep raiding these until we find one. So during Pokemon Go Fest Global this coming weekend, we've got Duskmane and Dawnwings Necrozma in the raids. So this is awesome, but you will not be getting Dawnwings or Duskmane Necrozma. You will not be getting Solgaleo or Lunala. You'll just get a regular Necrozma from these raids. So just kind of know that but you do need Necrozma to get fusion to get these new adventure effects. So if you don't have Necrozma yet because you didn't raid it during like, like you didn't have anybody to invite you into the remote raids during the in-person glo global GoFest go events, you now have access to these raids this weekend during the global GoFest events that can give you Necrozma. And I definitely would recommend battling it. It's a really good Pokemon. Everybody was going obscenely hard for it over the GoFest weekends because it's worth it. So no, that's a thing. And then also another part of fusing your Pokemon is you need the uh, solar and lunar fusion energy, which you could only get from special research events at the in-person GoFest events. Well, for the global GoFest and the raids, you can get these from shiny God. raids. You can get this fusion energy from raids, which is like the first and only time this has ever happened. And I don't know if this is gonna happen again for a very long time. So a great opportunity this weekend to stack up on your fusion energy. By the way, these raids uh, this weekend only are happening on Sunday, so just know that, that you really wanna play that Sunday and get your raids in. And you'll get the fusion energy by defeating the respective raid boss. So if you defeat a Dawnwings Necrozma, you'll get solar fusion energy, and if you defeat, or Dawnwings gives you lunar, whatever, you know what I'm saying. No background on the Kartana. Yeah, Dawnwings gives you lunar, Duskmane gives you solar fusion energy. Jeez. Jeez. He's uh, he's sleeping. Oh, there he is. Well, okay, what makes all this better, by the way, is the fact that we have unlimited remote raids every day. We're back to the OG remote raid days from Friday, July 12th to Sunday, July 14th. So that's amazing in itself. And again, the last time we had that was, what? Mega Rayquaza during Hoenn Tour? Like literally like a, over a year ago. So this weekend will be the greatest time to hit raids. 
if you have the money for unlimited remote raids because the prices aren't coming down. That part kind of sucks. But unlimited remote raids in Sunday is when you can get your fusion energy in Necrozma. But how do you get a Solgaleo and Lunala? Well, during the in-person Pokemon Go Fest events, we were getting a special Go Fest research that gave us encounters with Solgaleo or Lunala, depending on the pathway that we chose. Also during Global Go Fest, there's gonna be like all of the Ultra Beasts and they all can be shiny, including the new ones, Buzzwool, Feramosa, and Zerkatron. So if you haven't gotten those, insane weekend for that. And here we go, this is the information that I'm looking for. If you go on Pokemon Go's GoFest website under special research where the Mars Shadow is talked about for the global event, it basically says that ticket holding trainers, remember GoFest is free unless you buy a ticket, ticket holding trainers will get a special research that gives an encounter with a Mars Shadow. So if you wanna get your mythical Mars Shadow, you have to buy the research. Now that's what you get on Saturday. On Sunday, you get another special research that will give you potentially encounters with Solgaleo or Lunala because the research will be focused on Necrozma. And judging by the research that we got during the in-person GoFest events in, that I got in Japan and New York and people got in Madrid, during I think this like extra special research, uh, you get a choice of either sun or moon, like Lunala or Solgaleo. And then depending on your choice, it dictates which spawn you get from the two, from the research. So you can get yourself a Solgaleo or a Lunala if, I think, I think you should be able to, if you have a ticket purchased for GoFest for the special, from the special research, which will then allow you to have all of the ingredients that you need to fuse your Solgaleo and Lunala to your Necrozma to get these brand new adventure effects. And speaking of, I'm gonna try to get this Cartana raid defeated for the brand new background. Let's see how this works. Also, Simba's here. What's up, dude? So and that's kind of the run on this new feature, the adventure effects for Solgaleo and Lunala. It's up to you if you think it's worth it. I think that if they would have introduced some like crazy spawns or maybe like a higher chance of getting certain shinies, like it would have been great, but Rockruff, ah. Cartana, ah. Oh, hello Simba. Hello, hello. You helping me catch this Cartana, dude? Got it. And, God, no background still. I got the Cortana, I've got a cat on my my lap. Yes, we got a background! Oh, sick! Whoa, this looks crazy! 2539, brand new background. Check this out, wait for it, wait for it. That's so cool! <laughs> okay, so these backgrounds are real, and that's what it looks like. Look at like this, particles coming out of the, the ultra wormhole. Very cool! Well, that's what the background looks like, and that's the news and the new features in Pokemon Go. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and check out these other videos. I'll see you in the next one.